I'm Chris Gibbs and I'm a farmer in West Central Ohio. On behalf of the Rural America 2020 Board of Directors and Steering Committees all across the Midwest, thank you for taking a moment to learn what we're about and what we're doing. The short answer is, we're a nonprofit that advocates for policies that benefit agriculture and rural America. But of course, rural America is diverse and our agenda is diverse as well. Rural communities all across this nation are struggling under this administration. Lost trade opportunities, dwindling health care providers, rural hospital closures, below cost of production prices for commodities and livestock, bankruptcy, suicide, you get the idea. And hey, I haven't even mentioned how the uncoordinated response to the pandemic has upended traditional food supply chains that our dairy, livestock, and fresh produce farmers depend on. You know, farmers and rural folks work tirelessly to provide food and fiber all across this nation and around the world. They make their living off the land. They're tough, they don't spook, they don't run, and they certainly don't hide. And at the end of the day, they just want somebody to tell it to them straight. Give them an honest shake. So here's our bottom line. In our view, the Trump administration has failed agriculture and rural communities. All you have to do is look at the dollars poured into ag over the past two years from the Treasury and how poorly thought out policies have trapped agriculture into a spiraling loss requiring bailouts and tariff relief taken directly from our tax paying neighbors. Rural folks deserve better, better leadership and better policy. Policy that you and they can be proud of. Policy that can be depended on. Policy that can be explained to friends and neighbors. Now, we're not here to solely harp on the failures of the administration. There are plenty of outfits out there to fill that void. We are here, though, to provide a competing voice, a voice of truth, someone to push back when the president tells the nation that trade wars are good and easy to win. They're not. And somebody to look for and provide solutions. Finally, and most importantly, to make it safe for rural folks to stand up clear their throats, and speak out, speak the truth to power.